Now for our induction, we have an induction and we are going to court tomorrow morning to fight this illegal, unconstitutional injunction. All we say to America is, be true to what you said on paper. If I lived in China or even Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they hadn't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest for rights. And so just as I say we aren't gonna let any guns or water hoses turn us round, we aren't gonna let any injunction turn us round. Well, it really doesn't matter what happens now. I left Atlanta this morning, and as we got on the plane, there were six of us. And the pilot said uh, over the public address system, we're sorry for the delay, but we have Dr. Martin Luther King on the plane, and to be sure that all of the bags were checked, and to be sure that nothing would be wrong on the plane, we've had everything checked carefully. And we've had the plane protected and guarded all night. And then I got into Memphis. And some began to say the threats or talk about the threats that were out. Uh, what would happen to me from some of our sick white ones? Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter to me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind. Like anybody, I like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain, and I looked over, and I seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord.